This following series of Outlast is rated M for mature audiences. It contains coarse language, extreme violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and nudity. You have been warned. Now please, sit back and enjoy. In the previous episode of Outlast... Fuck you. Let's continue. I saw a battery, but I was wrong again. <gasps> That's this place. <gasps> Saving. <sighs> this place needs major repairs, guys. And I don't think you're doing your job. I mean, you're here. What? That was... <sighs> no, thank you. That was absolute horse shit. I fell through a beam. I tried to walk on that and fell through it. What kind of bullshit? Should I even try for that? Probably not. Isn't that... Is this where I want to go? Yeah? Do I want to go this way? Fuck it. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Only one way out. Only one way. Okay. Thanks. How do you know you're not a patient? That would be fucking cool if the story goes to that. I would I would be happy. Why are you going like this? I have a feeling we're gonna be meeting Chris again. Because of the squeezy part there. How did I know? I'm like... So smart. Fucking why did you slam it? I hear him. Does he know how to open doors? Or does he smash him down? No, he smashes him down. Hey! Hello! Oh wow! You really disfigured yourself. Oh, 
zooming out made you turn around. Fuck you, Chris. Come in. There's a body there. It's usually not a good eye good sign. <gasps> this is near the start. I Ugh. just yeah. Huh. Well, that's uh dandy. Library. <gasps> it's changed. The library had the dude on the spit. Oh my god, we're like lagging beyond control. I didn't just crash, did it? I found a document. Okay, let's read this. Hopefully. Don't crash. Translated from German. Berlin, 6th of September 1938. Reich Little Lonher and Dr. Mid Rogge. Okay, I don't know what that means. But I believe this would be from World War Two. Here we go. I have pressing news concerning the ongoing work of Dr. Rudolf Wernicke in his development of the morphogenic engine, expanding on theories developed in his brief but unfortunate relationship with Alan Turing. That's who A. Turing is. Alan Turing. He's the guy who made computers, I believe. I'm not sure. I'll have to look into it. If I had not witnessed it myself, I would not believe it had happened. But beyond even the promise in cellular regeneration and guided cancer regeneration, I believe Wernicke's method has breached the spiritual realm. Something crossed from the other side. I personally witnessed the appearance of an apparition, briefly but undeniably so. So this is talking about the wall rider. Please forward my note an invitation to witness further experiments to Dietrich Eckhart. I do not doubt that the Führer himself may need be may need be made aware of our discoveries. It is my opinion that Dr. Wernicke's successes represent an enormous opportunity for our cause and the German people, and are obviously sufficient reasons to keep him out of any sort of culling program. Regards to your family, signature illegible. So this was from a Nazi. Okay, so the Nazis found out about the wall rider and thought it'd be best not to let the Führer, who would be Hitler, know what was going on. Am I meant to go this way? Oh, I was meant to go that way. Oh. My God! Yes, coming. I'm coming. Fucking. Uh. Hey, recreation hall. Oh, this is nice.
That's a live piano. I can. I'm, sh I'm sure of it. It's not from that. Oh, the piano sounds so good. I can hide. All right. That's good to know. How I get over there. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> oh, I have the sheet music for this song. Sorry. You're doing really well. Ah. Actually, having that candle there would have made the piano out of tune. You do realize that? Because heat changes the tune of strings. Just thought I'd let you know. Okay, I'm off. Catch you later, maestro. That was a really nice song, though. I shall learn it. I shall also learn how to jump in Outlast. Ugh. Tell me, damn it. Ah. Uh. That's cool. I wrote a note. The Wernicke exit interview. The man sounds like Dr. Strangelove's anemic brother. It's a 25 year old audio recording, an interview with this Dr. Wernicke. Los Alamos means government work. Wernicke talks about spontaneous bleeding, tumours, psychosomatic reactions, and sufficiently disturbed people. Seems to walk a line between science and nasty, na, na, nasty, Nazi mysticism. Is that even a word? Mysticism? I have to look it up. Only a test subject who had witnessed enough horror was capable of activating the engine, the morphogenic engine. The engine. The movie they're projecting. It gets in my head like a song you can't stop humming. I blink and sing Rorschach. Rorsch, Rorschach tests that look like swarming insects and infected surgery wounds. The patients talk about using the engine to conjure the wall rider. It's the buzzing I hear in my bones. That's Rorschach, by the way, not what I said the first time. Rorschach tests are the uh, things psychologists use, those pictures that are like, oh, can you tell me what you see in this picture? And people are like, it's a butterfly. It's, a, it's another butterfly. It's a black dot.
Uh, it's meant to test your uh, Rorschach test. Are meant to test your s mental stability, depending on what you. You have to find Fernicky. Only way. Okay. Um, what is it to test your mental stability, depending on the answer you give? That's... It's too dark. Fuck. Projector room's there. It's a battery. Quite happy that they're giving us batteries now. There's a dead dude. <laughs> You're not even... left that door open for me though. Okay. Okay, yep. Oh fuck. Fuck my life, fuck it all. <laughs> How the fuck am I meant to get on there then? Okay. Third time's the charm, huh? There it is. Oh yeah, it is. That's... Closed. Where is... Oh, I stared right at it before. 